Hello Leo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star. So Leo, this is your reading for the month of January 2021. You may consider this as a post mid month reading. This is a general reading, Leo. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't and energies might be vice versa, okay? Also, Leo, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. Leo, this time also I'm thinking to uh, use a different format. Let's see how this works. I'm going to put uh, cards over here. This will be your energy, this side. Then I'm going to put cards over here. This will be the energy of your person that you are dealing with. In between, I'm going to put cards as a mutual energy between both of you. And then we'll see from where, how, how we can go ahead from there, okay? Uh, I will be also using different decks to get some messages from the universe for you people to get some messages from your spirits guides and your angels okay all right so let's get started so leo what is going on with you Ooh. leo what is going on with you leo what is going on with you so for you we have emperor queen of cups the tower for your person, we have Ten of Pentacles, uh, Five of Swords, Three of uh, Wands. The mutual energy is that of a Judgment and Eight of Eight of uh, Swords. Right. So Leo, uh, what I feel is you love this person, uh, but at the same time, you know that uh, this person really treated you bad. Okay. You love this person with that queen of cups you do love this person in fact subconsciously what i feel is you are waiting for this person but since this person uh you know crushed all your all of your dreams crushed uh whatever you had okay they broke your heart not just broke they damaged your heart and that's the reason why you are so defensive as of now okay you are extremely defensive you are you have become extremely rigid uh you know you are like i am absolutely not at all going to make any kind of efforts for this relationship okay but at the same time there is the strong urge of uh, this person coming back towards you and apologizing you you want an apology from this person that's that's is, that is what i see okay because probably you did a lot for this person and uh, this person uh, mistreated you that's what i'm getting this person mistreated you this person may have uh, you know put you in a third party situation and that kind of broke your trust to a large extent they damaged your soul okay uh, probably this you loved this person for some of you this may be also the first love of your life and you really trusted this person and you really loved this person a lot but they broke your trust and that is why you have become like this okay you have become this strong adamant and uh, kind of an aggressive energy what i'm sensing is you're trying to focus more on your uh, career you're trying to focus more on your professional life and uh so that you can you know your attention will get drifted away but at the same time you are also craving for that success okay you are craving for that success very strongly uh somewhere subconsciously you are thinking that you want to show this person that you can do better without them okay that's that's the kind of a feeling i'm getting as of now okay uh, as far as your person is concerned uh, with that with a ten of pentacles and with that five of swords i believe this person has been they are getting their karma okay this person is getting their karma back for whatever they have done to you this person may have been in already some kind of an existing setup when this person met you they were they might have been already married or they might have been in uh, what I, uh, they might have been in a long term commitment with someone there was an already existing arrangement between them and someone else when they met you but now karma is giving them their uh, they are giving them the dose of their own medicine what I'm getting over here is whosoever they are dealing with this person is doing exactly the same thing to them what your person did to you 
okay so they are definitely getting their karma back and this person is now realizing their own mistake this person is now realizing their own mistake they are on the verge of taking couple of decisions in their life uh, this person may be thinking about leaving their uh, existing person that is uh, leaving the third party they are thinking a lot about you okay they are waiting for certain things in their life however though okay there are couple of things that this person will have to think a lot about they will there are couple of things that this person will have to take certain uh, strong decisions before they can before they can think of coming towards you okay they are going through a lot as of now now with that eight of swords and with the judgment card what i'm getting is uh leo the kind of message i'm getting over here is universe thinks that you are too much stuck in your past and universe wants you to liberate yourself uh, from the past or from energies which you are uh, you know you are blocking abundance uh, that uh, that universe wants to send towards you because you are you are stuck in your past too much okay this may be anything universe wants you to open up this may be anything this may be about universe wants to send a new love towards you universe wants to send some material abundance towards you but universe is saying that you are stuck in a same energy since a very long time not that you cannot get out of it but you can okay so as far as the specific relationship is concerned what i'm getting is universe is trying to say that as of now you can move on because this even if this person comes towards you they won't be you know they 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 won't come as a transformed version that's what i'm getting okay so you need to work on yourself you need to you need to open up yourself for for different possibilities okay in the meantime universe will take care of them and they are already universe is already taking care of your person like you know they are going through the karma for the of their own actions what more what more for you leo what more for you leo what more for you oh my god we have emperor again for you are you kidding me some of you may have aries in your chart okay yeah we have five of pentacles we have two of cups for your person the strength then we have knight of cups and we have queen of cups mutual energy is out of three of wands and the chariot yeah so yeah you are this you are this kind of an adamant uh, you know adamant person but probably what i'm getting over here you, is you're thinking a lot you're thinking a lot about your past and you have that's why uh there is a strong sense of being left out and you're very angry about it that's what i'm getting okay uh, you are you're very angry about your person and you are rising up you are rising up but there is still you're looking back towards your past that's what i'm getting universe is trying to tell you that look forward okay look forward uh look in the direction of your growth because this is what is waiting for you this is what is waiting for you a new love is waiting for you okay leo new love is waiting for you as far as this person of yours is concerned they are thinking to come back towards you this person wants to come back towards you but they are afraid to come back towards you because they think that they know basically what they have done to you okay they know that uh, you know you are angry on them and you may not accept them right away but at the same time uh, they also know that you have this love for them okay you love them a lot with that queen of cups they think that uh, they think that you you represent this energy of queen of cups at the moment you are angry on them okay and you're going to show a lot of reluctance but uh, somewhere down the line or somewhere deep down you uh, you know this person thinks that you love them and uh, probably this may be also right to a some extent so this person is coming towards you they are planning to come towards you okay irrespective of whatever your uh, reaction may be they are definitely plan uh, planning to come towards you this person has an idea that you are you, it is highly likely that 80 to 90 person you will uh, you will turn your back on them okay but this person wants to take a chance they don't want a regret of not even taking a chance okay what more what is the advice what is the advice for both of you 
what is the advice for both of you? What is the advice for both of you? Okay. What is the advice for both of you? Yeah. Fall from, from grace. This person has done something to you. Fall from grace. It's it's about... Yeah, this person has done something to you. Uh, this, this person may have taken some undue advantage of yours. This person may have shown you dreams which they couldn't fulfill. And that's why somehow you have stopped trusting them. Somehow you have probably the respect that you had in their mind is no more. Uh, Leo, okay. You don't respect them anymore. That's what I'm getting. You don't respect them anymore. Then rebirth. Yeah, rebirth. So it's like this is like a death and rebirth card, uh, which signifies that this person is undergoing a transformation, but they will they will have to go through a lot. Okay, they will have to experience a lot of losses before they commence their uh, you know before they commence their ascension. What more? I just saw eleven eleven. Okay. So Empress, you are birthing a lot of ideas. Some of you are, you know, uh, you know, you are a baby mama uh, of this person. Uh, you, yeah, I mean, you may be carrying a child of this person. Some of you are birthing ideas which are going to bring a lot of abundance to you. With a magician, this person is manifesting you back. This person has some psychic abilities. This person may be, uh, you know, they may, they may be, they may not be alien to witchcraft and all that things. The strength card, uh, universe is uh, suggesting that you need to have strength. Both of you will have to show the required strength if you want to work on this relationship. Okay, both of you will have to work a lot. Uh, what are the messages uh, from the notes? from universe okay what are the notes from the universe for both of you what are the notes i'm seeing a lot of twin numbers i saw 11 11 i saw 2 2 2 2 i saw 12 12 when when i'm doing this reading okay so you may be twin flames okay so what are the notes from the universe love is never in vain so probably there is some hope in this connection okay what more do we have? You glow, we beam. So universe is telling you that you keep on working on yourself and you will have this natural glow because of which you're going to attract a lot of abundance. You may attract this past person. At the same time, you're also going to attract a lot of other suitors in your life. But at the end of the day, what I'm seeing is you keep on working on yourself. Universe is directing you to keep on working on yourself. That was, That is also what we saw in the mutual energy, okay? Be true to yourself. Yeah. Be true to yourself. You don't have to put a facade when you are interacting with this person or with anyone else. Okay. Truth always wins. That's what I'm hearing. I heart you. This person is still in love with you. They, 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 you have all their heart. Okay. This person regrets not treating you good. Don't be misled. This person is trying to tell you that, you know, some people may try to come in your life and mislead you as far as this connection is concerned and that's what happened with me also time to make demonstration this person thinks that it is high time that they come forward and take things in their hand and they demonstrate what are their exact feelings for you okay let's see what are the mutual energies uh, you know what to do wow <laughs> just wow aren't these cards very beautiful i'm just loving the love, uh, color scheme of these cards okay so the universe is telling both of you you know what to do okay so this is like a quiz time by the universe it's like it's not a precise message for both of you it's like you know the universe is telling uh for you leo like you know what you do i'm not gonna tell you you know exactly it's like so basically what universe is trying to tell you is listen to your gut Okay, you want to stay with this person or you want to move on, listen to your gut. And that's exactly what the universe is trying to tell your person also. Okay, do do things that make you happy. Do things that are best for your, you know, that, that are good for your highest good. Uh, it's not as if you need anyone. Exactly. Leo, your universe is telling you that, you know what, at the end of the day, you're self-sufficient. 
okay you don't need anyone to make yourself happy you don't need anyone to make yourself you know uh to satisfy yourself you yourself are always enough for yourself right what do we have the garden and the gate okay right so this is this is just like this is just like the nine of wands you are at this fence okay you need to open the gates and there you will have this garden outside this gate okay so you are standing in this gate and you probably are waiting for someone but universe is telling the uh, telling you that you know even you can open up the gates so universe is trying to tell you that open up the gates of your heart there are some better possibilities waiting for you okay what more for you leo what more for you leo what more for you leo indecision okay so there may be you may be experiencing some uh, indecision you're standing at the fork road you don't know which way to go okay uh, there are two ways in front of you and you are confused you want to go back to this person or you know whenever they come back you know that they are going to come back you know intuitively you feel that they are going to come back so if, if whether you want to go back to this person or you want to check out different possibilities it's up to you you are standing at the folk road goddess of the moon you are the goddess okay you are the goddess you always keep on shining okay you have everything that you need in yourself okay so again this is universe is like really shouting from the rooftop like hey look you are self sufficient okay you don't have to go and experience pain all over again this need not be the case in every one of you okay your person may really work hard on himself or herself and transform themselves and come towards you or they may come towards you as a very genuine person okay but uh, at the end of the day your universe is saying that you have experienced what what uh, you know what relationship will be with this person so if i am sending some better options for you better options that you exactly deserve better options which are of your level was the harm in trying okay what more what more do we have okay just give me a moment and i'll check uh, like <clears throat> what can be the conclusion of this relationship heartbroken this person is heartbroken that you know both of you are separated and uh, they cannot have you right now this person is heartbroken that they took some wrong decisions in their life appreciation appreciation this person wants uh, leo uh, this person wants you to appreciate yourself for what you have done to them okay this person is learning a lot and they want to thank you for that they want to come forward and they want to appreciate you okay so let's see what is the conclusion of this relationship or what is the conclusion what conclusion can we draw from the situation let's see that what conclusion can we draw from the situation what conclusion can we draw from the situation what conclusion can we draw from the situation hermit yeah so so i believe that separation and uh, self introspection is that is advice for both of you uh i'll not say separation per se but you need to isolate yourself and you need to think rationally practically you need to rewind all the uh, entire past in front of you you need to you know you need to think about the pros and cons you need to think about what you have been through and what you deserve what you don't deserve and then take a call okay so don't be in a hurry and uh, if if they just come back and don't be like you know yeah fine they have come back and they are sorry now i want to go back to them okay so at the end of the day what i'm feeling is universe is trying to tell you that you know take your time to decide about this relationship okay probably universe wants to send someone better in your life all right leo i hope this resonates please hit like share and subscribe and comment down below till then bye